Hi, I'm Kelly with Horns Illustrated, and here's what happened last week in Longhorn Sports. This Week in Review is sponsored by Commerce National Bank. Banking Texans since 1917, with Commerce National Bank, you're more than just an account number, you're a friend. Commerce National Bank goes above and beyond to meet all your banking needs. The number five Texas volleyball team started conference play 2-0. The Longhorns traveled to Fort Worth last Wednesday and swept the TCU Horned Frogs 3-0. On Saturday, they returned to Gregory Gym and recorded another sweep over Oklahoma. The win marked Texas's 42nd Big 12 win at home. Texas continues Big 12 play at Baylor this Wednesday. The soccer team also started 2-0 in Big 12 play. On Friday night, Whitney Janes and Sydney Shutter helped the Longhorns to a 2-0 win over TCU at Mike A. Myers Stadium. On Sunday, Chantel Campbell, Marshall Davis, and Sherry Latchapel all found the back of the net in the second half as Texas beat Iowa State 3-1. Congratulations to Lifetime Longhorn Jordan Spieth on being voted the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year. With his John Deere Classic win in July, Spieth became the youngest winner on the PGA Tour in 82 years. Spieth, who had nine top 10 finishes his rookie year, finished the season in seventh place in the FedEx Cup standings and was named to the President's Cup team. Softball and baseball both played over the weekend. The softball team opened with the fall season with a doubleheader sweep over Incarnate Word 5-1 and Odessa College 18-0. The baseball team fell to Lamar 10-8 in a rain-shortened 11-inning exhibition on Saturday. Sunday, the Horns shut out Texas State 9-0 in a 12-inning exhibition. The men's and women's cross-country teams swept the action at the Texas Invitational Friday evening. Craig Lutz led the men's team as the 15th ranked Longhorn posted a perfect score with all five of the top five runners. The 25th ranked women's team led by Brittany Marches had five of the top six finishers. The football team had the weekend off. They head to Ames, Iowa to face the Cyclones Thursday night. That's all for this week in review. Subscribe to Horns Illustrated using 2013 YouTube and receive 20% off your subscription. See you next week for what happens in Longhorn Sports.